Hello, this is Bottle Man, and um, I'm doing a review on the 12 inch 2004 Godzilla figure. Which, as you can see, it's hard to fit him on my camera because he's so large. Hold on, I'll just. Alright. So here he is. Let's do articulation. So. He's got 360 head articulation. Three, well, well, it's kind of 360 at least. As I always say, it would go 360 if the legs weren't blocking. But, 360 leg articulation. On the other one, too. Uh, that doesn't really articulate, but then he's got 360 leg, I mean, tail articulation there, and 360 tail articulation there, so he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points of articulation. There's some detail on him. Uh, I'm not too crazy about these Bandai figures because they don't really do much shading of any kind. Which I feel shading is what really makes a figure, not just the color on it. But I feel they could do more shading, especially on a big figure like this. I mean, they did some shading, like on the spine and the fingernails, but it's, I mean, like shading on the skin. It's just kind of bland, but it's this one's still pretty cool. There's his spines. He's got a really long tail, which actually has some pretty good points of articulation in it. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Here's his face. Rawr. Focus. Come on, focus. Focus. Trying to get it to focus. I don't. I hate that my camera doesn't do that too well. All right, it's focusing out. So you can see his eyes are like piercing orange. You can see his tongue better now. His yellow teeth, because I guess he doesn't brush them very much. Not much I can say. But, yeah, he's pretty cool. He's very large compared to my other Godzilla figures. I think I got him for 20 bucks at Toys R Us or something like that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I liked the 2004 movie a lot. I don't know when that 2012 one's supposed to come out, but I want to see that one. Bye, guys.